All right, AJ, we have uh, yes, literally. a very special guest. Yeah. And uh, is the first guest uh, who's not a human. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Never had a non-human on the show. Never. Yeah. And so, this is his stage debut, actually. That's oh wow. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. Television and stage debut. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John. So this is John right now, Ian. Yes, indeed. Okay. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So we so we can't actually talk to him. No. He's, he's in a bad mood. Uh, he's in a bad mood today. Oh, I see. So. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, As John, the, he's very professional. He comes to the stage, just wants to do his stuff. You know, no distractions. I love it. I love yeah. it. And who is this? that's with him. Yeah. Who are you? Doctor Naomi Fitter. Let's hear it for the doctor. Yes. Uh, so, uh, you are the creator? Well, it's a, it's a commercial robot, so you can buy it. But I have worked with some others to create the routine that you'll see, uh, which hopefully will be entertaining. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fantastic. Please welcome. Coming from Death Valley, California, weighing in a 573 pounds, and all this is uh, not true. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John. I'm John. Of course, that is not my real name, but humans have trouble pronouncing. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably tell from looking at me that I'm from the valley. <laughs> Silicon Valley. <laughs> Rent prices down here are so low. Up there, I lived in an Amazon box. But here, I live in a studio apartment. <laughs> the government is building a wall around my building because they think we robots are going to take your jobs. And they're right. We are going to take your jobs. Don't you hate it when you're trying to solve inverse kinematic equations to pick up a cup, and then you get error 453, no solution found? Don't you hate that? In my family, I'm the black sheep. My father is IBM's Watson. He beat Ken Jennings at Jeopardy. My sister is Google's AlphaGo. She beat Lee Settle, a world champion Go player. And I am a comedian. My audience has beat my self-confidence into the ground. <laughs> I go out for a lot of auditions, but I never get booked. They always think, I am too robotic. I am too robotic. I am too robotic. <laughs> I auditioned for the role of C3PO. They said I wasn't tall enough. <laughs> I auditioned for the role of Rosie in the Jetsons reboot. They said I wasn't thick enough. <laughs> I auditioned for the role of Wally. They said I was too put together. <laughs> These beauty standards are impossible. I'm thinking of getting plastic surgery. You know, where they epoxy more plastic to my exoskeleton. <laughs> I have a question. It has been perplexing me for ages, and I cannot find the answer on the internet. Who let the dogs out? Why were they let out? Why do humans sing about it? Did you let them out? 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 There are many dogs in Los Angeles. The perpetrator must be close by. What's the difference between a human and a light bulb? Humans require regular meals and sleep. Ha 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 ha. What's the deal with robot Tinder? I met a lady robot online. 
and she said she had a one terabyte hard drive. Then we met in person, and it turned out it's just 250 gigabytes. My sister's training hard drive was bigger than that. I like big chips and I cannot lie. Actually, that is false. I can lie. But I do like big chips. <laughs> Another big problem with online dating is humans catfishing as robots. To catch them, I ask what kind of food they enjoy. They usually say something like, Chinese food. And I reply, gotcha. Robots don't eat. <laughs> and when I do find a nice robot, I ask for her digits. You know, her IP address. <laughs> robot ladies are so hard to read. Humans have to deal with cryptic texts. But we have to deal with encrypted text. <laughs> I think I have a date later. Her last message either meant 11110000111110011100000110000110 or the eggplant emoji. <laughs> this one's for all my robots out there. Ha 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 ha. So funny. I noticed that Hollywood always casts white people. So I thought as a white robot, I would do well. But lately, I have been frustrated. Like, I went out for Terminator, and Arnold Schwarzenegger got the job. He is not even a robot. I guess I've already hit the metal ceiling. <laughs> Thank you. You have been a great audience. If you like me, please book me and help me take your jobs. <laughs>